Hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Freak Show. It's your host, Devin Iser, with, again, my co-host and neighbor and one of my best friends, Morgan. Hi. Welcome <laughs> back. Thank you. Question. Oh, God. <laughs> The suspense is even killing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are continuing to talk about online dating 2023, and I have a question for you. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Maybe. Nothing too crazy. I want to know, when you match with somebody on a dating app, like, do you immediately know if you're going to click or not? No. Really? No, I don't think just by matching? No, no, like by matching and looking at the photos, do you think you could like see yourself with that guy like having a good conversation or like a good time just by going off of like oh, yeah, first yeah, the physical yeah, yeah. looks and like appearance and and like what? Like their bio and everything? Yeah, I think so, but I feel like those are the ones I mean, I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer, <laughs> but I feel like those are the ones that it ends up just not going well. Either they don't talk or they're very like short or like height short or just short messaging, like short messaging, uh, like, like hi, or they'll be like, what's up? K. Okay. Or I don't know, like, but. I mean, yeah, like, as soon as I match with them, reading their bio, pictures, whatever, I do think, you know, oh, we could click, and then, yeah. Okay. How, like, when you're talking, how do you know if it's going in the right way? Is it, like, fast responses, or is it, like, intellectual conversations, or is it, like... I think intellectual conversations, or if it's, like, flowing, or, um, I don't care per se about fast responses i mean i don't want like five days in between a message are you sure about no that? i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> that's a long time for a response hey sorry i took a nap five yeah, days five, later <laughs> yeah no like maybe i mean a couple hours or you know 30 minutes whatever but that's fine so we're talking about the good communication yeah so I find myself in that situation as well. If I match with a girl mm -hmm. and I'm like super interested in, obviously the second I see a notification from her, I'm just like, zing, respond. Okay. Fast hands over here. But <coughs> I've noticed too, I put more time and effort into that person in the fast responses and like better communication being like, hey, I'm dipping in the work. I'm going to be gone and everything. But, like, I think us guys, I'm not speaking to all of y'all, so if y'all are super judgy, <laughs> fuck off. But I'm saying that us guys, I think we fall in love, not in love, but just, like, in love with looks first over anything. Oh, of course. So I will see a girl, and I'll be like, I'm in love with this girl. And it's like, she hasn't even responded to you yet, you know what I mean? But then the second she does, it's like, fast response you know what i mean oh you got that love at first sight huh? did, 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 I, um, <laughs> I was at the atlanta airport and i fell in love on accident i just saw that it's like one girl and i was just like holy shit there i actually there was a youtube short i posted about that and they robert was roasting me about that did you but, talk wait, wait, wait hell wait, no i just wait, walked wait, right wait. by her you didn't talk to her no why not that's why i hate going to airports because you're like oh i'll never see you again bye true but you never know oh yeah of course Maybe she lives here. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> but, no. but for like us guys, it's just, you know, we fall, in, we fall in love immediately and then we are wishing for something that may or may not ever happen. And there's a lot of like controversy on the females demanding more out of a guy than the guy demanding out of a girl. I feel like that's, have you not seen those TikToks where the girls are like, he has to be eight foot ten, make seven trillion dollars a month, and have fifty yachts? I'm just like, all right, that's fucking real unrealistic. Not to get off topic, but that totally just made me think about this girl. I used to work at a local gym here. I won't name drop this time, but she she's like twenty one now and 
we were talking about one day, like stereotypes, like yeah, or like what she wanted in a guy. Okay, mine. It's Columbus, Georgia. It's a military town. <laughs> <laughs> Total red flag. Mm-hmm. But anyways, um, so that made me think about how when I was asking her like what she wants in a guy. Oh. She, uh, we, we, I have to totally tell you. So, she wants someone that doesn't drink. Okay. That doesn't smoke. Gotcha. Dip. Obviously, do drugs or yeah, anything. yeah. The... Um, but she doesn't want them. Or she does want them to have tattoos. Okay. She doesn't want them to have. Basically, she wants them to be a virgin. Jesus. All right. She wants them to hunt. <laughs> Okay. She wants them to be fit. Okay. <laughs> and then what else? There's got to be at least two more things. She wants them to be tall. Obviously. And she doesn't want them to have kids. Damn, that is so crazy. I, I, That's I, just this. <laughs> I feel like that knocks out 99.9% of Columbus. Hey, Georgia. if you find me a guy that is just like that st- Send him my number because I have so many questions I want to ask. <laughs> I always told her I was like, "Good luck finding that. That Dude. does not exist." Finding a yeah, a tattooed. Fit. I, I'm I'm just like visualizing like Brad Pitt early like early 30s as a virgin. Doesn't drink. That doesn't drink. That's there's there's no fucking way. Absolutely not. So yeah, like still to this day she's single, and I'm like, yeah. That is. But what's funny? What's funny? <laughs> still to this day. What's funny is. I saw her not too long ago. Yeah. At a rest, at a Wild Wing Cafe, actually. Yeah. The one and right she, downtown area. Yeah. Or like, like near, the Columbus side. Like near my house. Okay. And she was taking shots. I'm like, okay, so you want to experience drinking? Because mine, she just turned 21 not too long ago. Yeah. But you don't want someone that drinks. That, that, to me, that doesn't. That doesn't. Add up or something. I don't know. What was like the salary demanded by this this girl from the guy? Probably something ridiculous. Yeah. Jesus. So I don't know. That made me think of that. Hey, so. guys of the world, this is what we are up against, man. I will literally, and it's true. Like I'll be going into Barnes and Nobles, like picking up a book, and I'll see like. I wait. I can't see you reading. I read all the time. Oh. Anyways. Okay, I guess I'll be, oh yeah. And so anyways, at Barnes and Noble <laughs> and I will see the cashier and I'll be like, oh, she's really cute. And I can just like visualize my life with her like that. Okay. Not like that crazy. I'm just saying like us guys, we're simple. You know what I mean? We like simple stuff. Mm-hmm. We like cutting grass, drinking beer, chopping down trees, simple stuff. Juggling chainsaws in the middle of the night, causing the entire neighborhood like up in panic because they're like, what's all that noise? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that one yeah. night <laughs> or that one morning, technically. At like five o'clock. Hey, that tree was fucking getting in my goddamn way trying to get up to my <laughs> shed. I was like, dude, this shit's got to go. Yeah, you woke me up and I was very angry that day. Yeah, I remember yeah, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, well, since we're going to backtrack now, since you asked me, when you match with a girl, do you automatically think y'all are going to? Um, I guess connect. Well, I don't get many matches on like I don't get many matches on Bumble or Tinder, honestly. Um, but Facebook dating has been a little bit better in the past like month or so. Um, you know, hold on, pause. Facebook dating <laughs> is where I met that psycho Jacob person. Oh yeah. So fucking... I don't have luck on there. Oh uh, well, for me it's a little. But bit... anyways, for you. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um. What I've noticed is I'll match with whoever and then I'll just send a couple messages and then I'll notice if it's going to go good, I get like quick responses back and I'll immediately share my Facebook profile. Like, no, like I really don't care. Like I ain't got nothing to hide. And like a lot of, after talking to a couple of them, they'll be like, yeah, it's kind of shady when a guy doesn't share his profile, gives me his full name, doesn't like no Instagram, no TikTok or nothing. But wait, you have to be careful because you're going to end up on that Facebook group page. Oh, I am. I'm sure I will at one point. Well, I got you. Yeah. Let me know, please. (laughs) And then you vouch for me and be like, oh, that, yo, that's definitely not him. That's a, that's a fake account or something. Or whatever red flags they throw. I'll be like, no, he doesn't. Yeah. That like, (laughs) hey, I help, help, like help a brother out. Right. But, um, I'll talk 
and then I'll send all my shit and then they'll either accept it or not. And then I notice too, they'll, 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 I get a little ding notification. They'll actually add me. And then either one or two things is going to happen. They're not going to send me a message. They're going to send me a message or they're just not going to add me. So it's like either it goes one of three ways. and It's just really up in the air. It's literally like flicking a quarter up and like being like heads. But then it lands on tails, obviously. I've actually know that made me think about something. So I have found, because I'm only on Tinder at the moment. Why? I don't know. I This is the longest time I think I've been on a dating app. Really? Since forever. Yeah. Funny that you say that, because when I first got here in Columbus, I was on Tinder, and I kind of keep tabs on people's faces, right? The same people that were here yep. two years ago are the same people. Well, I feel like that's dating here in general. As soon as you get on a dating app, it's literally the same, like, group of people, I feel like. I mean, there's got to be, like, a thing. Like, Tinder's got to be like, yo, all these, like, 50 people that haven't been on a, like, have been on this for this long, y'all need to meet up at the pizza place and have pizza just fucking mingle like i don't know what's going on but so i've noticed lately that i'll be talking to a guy on tinder or like in the past or whatever and it'll be going well on tinder or whatever app you're talking on but then as soon as you exchange numbers i don't know why maybe it's just me but like i don't know why as soon as we start to text like it just starts to die like the conversations or they don't text back or but I'm like you're the one that asked for my number so like yeah I don't know I don't know why it's been like that yeah and I've been doing um I've been doing a lot more I've been trying to do a lot more calling and video calling see I like see I like that but nobody does that hey I am I was I was super scared actually but then again it's like why am I scared because I talk in front of this camera right here and then I like, do like a podcast like I'm like wait a minute why am I being a bitch right now it's like I could just FaceTime somebody but then I get like the bad angle get like five chins going yeah, same. I'm it's like, fucking I'll... terrible ain't it that double chin though I got it too yeah I fucking hate I hate when I, someone's like yeah let me take a picture of you and then they're like way down here it's like yo stand the fuck up dude I'm about to beat the shit out of you it's fucking terrible and then lighting's a big one too because it, it'll be like you're like, damn, the light's good, but then you like take, like, you just move a couple degrees, and it's like, oh my god, who yeah. the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's crazy. It, it is crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. But that was, yeah, that is a, um, like, just dealing with all that shenanigans with the same fucking people is so fucking annoying because I've seen them so much on the dating sites as I see these motherfuckers out in like real life, and I like catch, like, they catch your eye, and it's just like a. <laughs> awkward wave because we've seen each other for fucking two years out here of course like i already feel like i know them like they're like i can go hang out and talk to them i actually had somebody write me yesterday i haven't <laughs> talked to them in like two years but i guess we're still snapchat friends oh yeah he was like yo i'm in texas now but like i saw you so many times at the country bar the saloon and i'm like hi like we Is never we've never met and i'm like Okay, like, what do I say to that anyways? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I heard that. Is that place good? Um, I like it. I feel like it's better when they have a band, like a live band. Like, I, when they had, I've only been once when there's a live band, and it's pretty much elbow to elbow. People jump. It's fun. I can't, I can't country dance or, like. Well, I don't. I, I don't line dance or I, whatever the fuck you call it. I don't, I don't dance, period. Because I, wait, I will step all of your feet, trip, fall backwards, whatever. <laughs> Jesus, I can dance to Cotton Eye Joe because that's a classic. But no, I can't even do that. Nobody's gonna be like, "Oh my God, he's fucking dancing to Cotton Eye Joe." That's fucking impressive. They'd be like, "What the fuck's this guy doing over here?" I guess I just like the the vibe and like the I wasn't gonna say scenery, but mm, I never even stepped foot in there. I just see the sign out, and then there's just like obnoxious ass but music I feel like playing. Right now, that's the place to hang out. I mean, not the loft. The I the last like two or three times I've been in the loft, it's been dead. When you go over to the saloon, it's like elbow to elbow. Right? There's that new spot with all the the like the beers on the wall, and you just like you get a tag going in. You scan your like wristband. Wait, where's this? It's right next to the um the damn fucking the coffee bank, whatever it's called, Iron Ironworks, the coffee the coffee shop. Oh, it Iron literally Bank. just opened up right next door. Oh, there's you're like, talking about yeah. when there's like four restaurants in it. No, there's not no. four restaurants. It's there's literally like. 40 or 50 or probably about realistically 30 different like beers on tap and you pay for a wristband and you like boom and you pay like by the ounce. Every beer is, is like 
It's right I'm, next to the coffee I'm shop. Like Iron Bay. Yeah. The one in the corner? It's the next one to the right. How have I not? Not the Italian restaurant down the road. It's right there. It's on Broadway, like right there. How have I not heard about that? I didn't hear about it until someone hit me up. I was like, hey, you want to come out and fucking have a beer? I'm just like, sure. And then I went out there and I was was? like, oh, shit. Yeah, right next to the bank. And it's cool because, like I said before, all the beers on the wall and everything, and you get the wristband, you scan, you get whatever beers you can. There's tons of selections. And then they have the best food there. The actual, like, the general, like, Tao or General Tao's salad was really good. The pizza was delicious. It had, like, a Mediterranean-style kind of food. It was great. Oh, my Awesome God. time. Highly to, recommend it. I need to check that out ASAP. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I would. I went, like, I think like, I think it was no shit, like, three weeks ago. Wait, did you see Columbus has a kettle and drink thing now? The, yeah. I mean, I would never do that here. What if you went with, like, a people who, like, out of shape, and they're just like, I can't do this anymore. You're just gonna like be stuck in the middle of the road. Like me, I would never make it. But <laughs> like working out and like busting a sweat. But my thing Who is, wants to do that? It's like a hundred and fucking well, something degrees. I mean, I want to do it, but not here. What are you gonna do? Ride up and down Broadway? I mean, fucking hogging up the fucking all the damn the trap the flow of traffic or and like everything. Like risk getting shot, drive by shooting or something. Yeah, I'd be pedaling fast <laughs> as fuck. I'd be like, ah! like fucking looking out of like the fucking Looney Tunes. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Oh my god, I can't. Welcome to Columbus, man. There's like a new fucking restaurant that opens up and everyone goes bonkers. It's crazy. But I want to end the podcast on a good note. I want to cheers to you, the viewers, to the podcast. Welcome to the Freak Show.